All right, welcome to our animation area. And I'm sorry right now if we're getting a little bit of echo in here, but I got to use a shotgun mic. And also, um, I'm backlit because all the lights are on in the animation area. So let's fix a couple of things. First off, let's get the lighting ready to go in here. You don't, normally you don't need to have the makeup mirrors on. So let me just go over here and on the switch on the counter here, let's turn off the makeup mirrors. Okay, that, that's already looking better on me, not so backlit. Okay, and then you want these top lights on. Uh, there is a little switch right on the side of the makeup mirror lights, a little switch over here that I can just press and I can turn them off and turn them on. Okay, so you want the top lights on and usually these side lights, they're good for just making sure that we're getting lots of light on your animation, which is really important. Okay, let's continue on. Now for a background, we have these rolls of white background. You can see how messy they get with the clay. So I'm just going to uh, pull some more here and then I'm going to trim it off nice and straight. Good. Now, this, that can go into recycling, which is over there. Okay. So now that we got that, I'm going to grab a couple of these. Uh, I like using the blue clamps here. Okay. And let's just get lots of this paper there. Okay. So that should be about enough. Maybe that's a little too much, but let me just clamp that to top and roll this up. You want just a slight curve to the background that will make sure there's no horizon in the back of your shots, which is kind of very modern and very cool. Okay. So we've got that ready to go. Now I'm just going to go up over here to the shelf, grab one of the iPod tripods. Did I say that right? iPad tripod. Okay. And I'm just going to see that there's a little lock there. Now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. So it's open. Let me grab my iPad. Really important here is where do you want the lens to be? Do you want it low or do you want it high? I normally always shoot with it low because I like my camera coming in at the same eye height as my character. So I'm going to put that into the, the tripod here. I'm going to close that down. So it's nice and tight against the iPad. And then I'm going to lock that. Okay. So now it's in there, which is good. I mean, don't juggle it around, but it's good. The other part here, I can loosen up and now it will pivot on the tripod and I can just tighten it just slightly. Don't go crazy with tightening. These are just plastic parts and they will break. So now it's locked on. That's good. And you can see I've now got my tripod. So, I've got that there and now I can shoot. And as you can see, the, the camera is nice and low right here. So if I have a little character like this guy right here, suddenly, you know, at the same height as the camera, that's really good. So that's a good thing to have. If you want to shoot from more above, you know, looking down on your characters, just put the iPad in the other way and then the camera will be up on the high side rather than the low side. Okay. So the camera's ready to go. Uh, the app that we use is called let me just wake this up. Da, 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 da. Okay. And it is called, where is it at here? It's called stop motion. It's this guy right here, stop motion. So you open that up and make sure to never mess with anybody else's work. Okay. Just leave it alone. Press new movie. The instructions are on the website on how to use the stop motion app, but that's what you use is stop motion. Okay. So that's ready to go. Lights are ready to go. Now let's talk about characters and clay. Now, when it comes to clay characters, making monsters are probably the best thing for you to do. Okay. Can you see these guys here? Okay. Uh, especially things with, with large bases so that they blob down pretty good because, uh, anything that's humanoid, as soon as you need to have them start to, to stand up on, on legs and stuff, they fall over really easy. Okay. So, uh, monsters are the best thing. So just think Dr. Seuss, think monsters. Um, here's a great example of one. Look at that, how great that one is right there. And it's got a nice base. So it sits just fine. Okay. So that works out good. Um, when it comes to the size of your clay characters, they have to be, you know, really smaller than like six centimeters. Okay. And not use very much clay. See how this is not using very much clay. Uh, something that's, that's massive here. And these are just examples way, way too much clay and a humanoid. So it's going to be really hard to animate this. Uh, and that's way too much clay. So, uh, we have to share the clay with everyone else. So just make sure way too big. Okay. It's got to be maybe five centimeters by five centimeters. Like it's got to not be a block of it, but you know, a reasonable size. Okay. So you're going to then animate. We do have things like 
let me see over here for this fish. Let me grab that off, off camera there. Uh, we have fishing line, okay? So if you need to have something floating through there. But one of the tricks to using fishing line is you should have two points of fishing line on your little creature here. Let me just try to bury another piece of fishing line in there. Because then you can keep them steady. So now that I have two, now I can actually, you know, because move it around where I need to. So it's not swaying around so much, okay? So have two points of fishing line if you need to have something that goes through the air or whatever that, so that works out. Um, I think that kind of covers it. Uh, we have all the supplies and things. When you are finished, okay, uh, if you really love your character, take it home. I don't know how you're going to get it home, but take it home. If you're not going to do anything more with your character, please take apart the colors and put them back in the bins with the other clay so that someone else can use. Just, we're just wanting to, you know, reuse as much as we can so we're not wasting things, okay? Which is one of our, our things that we believe in in this class, is not wasting things. So, you know, do all your animating, that's great, and then either take it home or take it all apart and put the clay back where it belongs, okay? But uh, I hope this helps out and you should have a great fun time animating your next great creation.